Good evening. Here we have yet another optimization problem. So Odysseus, king of Ithaca... That was my printer, by the way. <laughs> uh, it randomly makes noises. So Odysseus, king of Ithaca, has a rectangular piece of cardboard that measures 8 inches by 6 inches. Oh, that doesn't look like an 8 at all. Okay, that's better. He needs to make an open top rectangular box by cutting identical squares from all four corners. So I'm going to make little squares over here. Look at that. And folding the sides. So we're going to cut off these little squares from the corners. Oh, this is looking terrible. This. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So... The question is, what is the measure of the sides of each square that he needs to cut from the corners in order to maximize the volume of the box? I can barely read today. Um, so each one of these measures x, okay? All of them measure x. And um, so what are what is he going to do here? These little dotted uh, lines is where the cardboard box is going to get folded once these little squares are cut out, basically. Okay? So, he's going to fold up the box, and it's going to look like this. Hopefully, I'll make something that looks nice and makes sense to everyone. Look at that. Okay. So, let's take a look here. This right here, whoops, actually let me just grab a different color. So this little side here corresponds to this one. Okay, I hope that everyone can visualize this. Most of you hopefully will be, be able to visualize it right away. It may not be clear to others. I'm not very good uh, at figuring the, these things out unless I see a good picture of it. So hopefully it'll make great sense to everyone. And, uh, and finally, let me just get yet another color. So the height here, this part will be corresponding to this one because we fold up the box. Um, let me just use a different color actually. Something like this. So hopefully that makes good sense to everyone. So you fold up this and you get an open top box. And, um, but let's write expressions of x to find the measures of the box. So that's what we need to do now. And what does that mean? Well, what is this measure in terms of x? The whole thing measures 8 inches. And we're cutting off x from this side and another x from that side. So this blue side here will measure 8 minus 2x because we're subtracting 2x from it. Now the little green side that we have here will measure 6 inches minus x minus x again, so that will be 6 minus 2x. What about the height? Well, the little height will be just x, right? So we'll just measure x. Great. Now we can finally, we can finally write an expression for the volume of the box. And uh, we get length times width times height for the volume. So we can write 8 minus 2x times 6 minus 2x times x. And now I'm going to have to expand all of this. And I'll simplify it. Then I'm going to take the derivative and set it equal to 0. Because that's what we do to optimize things in calculus. So volume equals... I don't like this color. I want red. Um... Let me foil this, so I get 8 times 6, 48, 8 times negative 2x, negative 16x, then negative 2x minus 16 is negative 12x, and finally negative 2x times negative 2x is 4x squared times x. So now this tribute, actually first I'm just going to combine the middle terms here, I get negative 28x plus 4x squared times x, and now I can distribute 
the x. So we get 48. Actually, get rid of the parentheses as well. 48x minus 28x squared plus 4x cubed. Great. Um, now what shall we do? Like I mentioned before, we're going to take the derivative of this and set it equal to 0. Because that way we will optimize. So we get the derivative of 48x is 48. Negative 28x squared, I can bring down the exponent, multiply it by 28. So we get 56x. And then I bring down the 3, multiply by 4, so I get 12x, subtract 1, 12x squared. Now we're going to set it equal to 0 and solve for x. Great. Um, first step here, I think I'm just going to divide everything by 4, both sides of the equation. They'll make things simpler. So I get 12 minus um, 56 divided by 4. Oh god, that's going to take a lot. 14x. It's a bit embarrassing, but my arithmetic skills are just horrible. Or arithmetic. can't say that word properly in English. 12x squared divided by 4 is 3x squared. That's equal to 0. And now I'm, you can, um, I don't know if that factors nicely, I'm just going to plug it into the quadratic formula right away. I'll just rewrite it as with the leading coefficient in front of everything. So negative b, b in this case is negative 14, plus or minus b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. So I get negative, negative 14, so positive 14. These, these guys cancel out, right? Plus or minus. So negative 14 squared, that's 196. Minus 4 times 3 times 12, which is negative 144. All over 2 times 3, 6. So we get 14 plus or minus 196 minus 144. So that is 52, if I'm not mistaken. I believe, I believe I'm not mistaken. And now we're going to have two solutions. The first solution will be 14 plus root 52. I'm going to use the calculator to figure that out. So 14 plus root 52 divided by 6. And my voice just cracked, which is embarrassing. 3.50. 3.535 inches, of course. And the second solution would be 14 minus root 52 divided by 6, which measures 1.13 inches. I guess it will just stay consistent and round to the third decimal place to the nearest thousandth. And uh, now look at this. Look at our answers. 3.5 inches. We're going to have no box with that. Right? Because, well, the whole thing here, the whole thing here measures 6 inches. So there's no way that x can be bigger than 3. So we're going to reject that. And that will be actually our answer. So he needs to... Cut off little squares that measure 1.131 1 of an inch. <laughs> Let me just write that down here. From each corner to make the box with the greatest possible volume. And that's it. But now, what if you want to confirm, actually, that this indeed will give us the maximum possible volume? Right? Perhaps it's, a, it's actually a, a, a bogus answer. Well, here's what we can do just to confirm. There's a couple of ways to confirm, in fact. But let's say that I have the volume or v, v prime here, and I plug in the 1.13. For x. Now, how can I certify myself that 
this is a maximum or a local maximum value, here's what I can do. I can actually take a value smaller than 1.13, like 1 perhaps, and plug it into V prime. Then I can take a value that is bigger than 1.13, perhaps 2. And then, because we definitely know that 1.13 is a critical value, right? And if we plug in 1, we are gonna, we're gonna have a positive value for V prime, which means that it's a positive slope. And then over here, if we plug in 2, we're gonna get a negative value, which means that we have then a negative slope which means that right at 1.13, we're going to have a local maximum. Therefore, if we cut off little squares that measure 1.13 of an inch from each corner of the cardboard, our friend Odysseus, King of Ithaca, will get the box with the greatest possible volume. That's it.